Uh, the one behind me is the upper lighthouse. And the one in front of me, uh, which you can't see yet, is the lower lighthouse. They weren't very imaginative, the lighthouse keepers on names, but the upper lighthouse and the lower lighthouse. Um, further out is the Chicken's Rock lighthouse. But first of all, we'll go back to, we'll go back to the 1700s and everyone was hitting the rock which the Chicken's Rock Lighthouse is on because it's covered at high tide and in the dark you couldn't see it. So um, they wanted a way to show shipping how to avoid the rock. And they, they thought long and hard about this and the Stevensons came up with this idea. If you had a lighthouse here and a lighthouse here and the rock was there, now if those two lights lined up with the rock, that was where the rock was. So if you were in a boat, the idea was to keep the lights far apart from each other. So if you had a big gap between the two lights, you were safe. If they were like that, you were inside the rock. If they were like that, you were outside and safe. So that was fine. And that, that went on for some years. These were built in 1818, exactly 200 years ago. So that curdy we just saw a few minutes ago, the workshop and these lighthouses, this was all happening exactly 200 years ago. And they went on for some 60, 70 years until the Bishop's Rock Lighthouse was built because they said you could never build on a rock. It's impossible. The waves just knock it down. And true, the Bishop's Rock got knocked down a few times. But the, Williams, the Stevenson family who built these lighthouses, they went to see the Bishop's Rock Lighthouse and from that, they built the Bell Rock Lighthouse off Edinburgh. And the Bell Rock is the classic Stevenson design of the oak tree. Fat at the bottom, getting thinner as you go up to the top. And they built, in a couple of years, they built the Chicken's Rock Lighthouse. And um, that made these redundant. Didn't need them anymore. So they just fell into disuse. The houses that are with the lighthouses, they were still used as quarters for the lighthouse men when, because you do a rotation. And so when you came off the Chicken's Rock, you stayed here. But it got to be too hard um, as time went on. It got to be, they used to have cattle and sheep, and they had four fields here, cattle, sheep, pigs, hens, all that sort of thing, and gardens. But it got to be a bit of a hardship. And it was difficult to get lighthouse keepers' wives to come out to this location. And so it was therefore it was difficult to get lighthouse keepers out here. And so they went to Port St. Mary. And the, these houses then were all went into disrepair then. So that's the story of the two lighthouses on the Chicken's Rock. The reason they're at different heights is to show if you get them in line, you're on the Chicken's Rock. And uh, you don't want to be on the Chicken's Rock. <laughs>